Adding just a little bit of colour or shading to a drawing can make the drawing a lot easier to read and make it look a lot better too. Let's have a look at that as an example. So here's an existing site plan. Let's have a look at the plot preview of it. So we can see what it looks like if it was printed out. Now the driveway hatch is shaded a little bit so it doesn't dominate and the garden area, that little symbol there is green. Now how did I make that green or plot out green? Well the secret is in the layer for, for that object. If I go to the garden hatch one, you can see here that the color is actually a true color. So because I use CTP, which is color dependent style, the index colors, which are the first uh, 245, I think it is, they have been assigned in the CTP file, and I'll show you that later on. But if you pick something here from the true color, whatever, the red, green, blue, it'll print out in color on your drawing. So that's how I make that color. Now how about shaded? So if I go over to the pro proposed site plan, it, it's traditional drafting or a drafting standard to make a shaded existing so that the new pops out. So have a look at this. So here now you see that the sh all the existing is shaded and only the boundary is a black and sticks out and the proposed is black and I've got a fill in there of a cream color which is the render color of this replacement fence. So how did I make that happen? Well once again it's in the layer but I've done something different in this. I could have used a true cut, true uh, color, true type color, but I have got it on a layer here and the color nine. Now, how did I control that? So if I go to plot in the CTP file, if you go to color nine, you'll see that here it's got screening at 40%. That's how I made all of that shaded.